A spinning pocket of very cold air known as a polar vortex is expected to bring potentially life-threatening tempers to parts of the United States this week. Forecasters saying it could be as cold as minus 30 degrees Celsius. Ooh, officials say it's likely to be colder than the South Pole and they're warming, uh, warming, they would be warming, but they're warning people to yep. stay indoors. Here's Andy Moore. Forecasters say temperatures like this only happen once in a generation. On the frozen Chicago River, it looked as if icebreakers were needed. In Iowa, people were warned to avoid taking deep breaths and to minimize talking if they were going outside. Chicago's mayor said the weather was life-threatening. If you don't need to be outside at this time, don't go outside. The temperatures today are not, and uh, rather today, uh, tomorrow and Thursday, are not uh, to be taken lightly. These are actually a public health risk. Conditions on many roads were treacherous. At least two deaths have already been blamed on the cold weather. It's affecting 55 million people and stretching far further south than usual. Temperatures are forecast to fall to as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius in some parts today, and with added wind chill, it will feel even colder. In conditions like that, you can get frostbite within 10 minutes of going outside. Airports struggled to keep their runways open, and failed in many cases. More than 2,000 flights were cancelled. The bad weather has hit Canada as well. In Toronto, they've been digging out after 26 centimetres or 10 inches of snow. That's their biggest snowfall in a decade. Andy Moore, BBC News. Well, we were seeing the news that is pretty cold in parts of North America at the moment. Today in Chicago, for example, the temperature will be minus 26 with a wind chill. There are all kinds of warnings out. Because it's so, so bitter, the National Weather Service in America have said that if you're outside in some places and you breathe in, or indeed if you talk a lot, so minimise your chat, basically, it could affect your lungs. So it, it's not a good situation to be in. And what's happened is it's a result of a displaced polar vortex, which is a spinning column of air. It's normally up over the poles, but it's been displaced. It's moved farther south over the Great Lakes, where there's more of a population. And that's probably, apart from how dreadful it is, why it is making the news at the moment. But by the time we get to Saturday, instead of minus 26, we'll be looking at positive figures in Chicago, for example. But you can see the blues right across the north of America.